Students often ask me, what is the difference between Carnatic and Hindustani classical music? This is a very interesting question and also very important. First of all, we should be proud that India has not just one but two major forms of classical music. So before we start learning either Carnatic or Hindustani classical, we must be aware of what are the major differences between the two. And that's what we're going to find out in today's video. I'm Pratibha Sarathi and you're watching Vox Guru's learning series. The first and most striking difference between Carnatic and Hindustani is the Gamakas. Although both the styles use the same 12 notes, the way these notes are embellished is completely different. Now in Hindustani classical music, we use a technique called the Meend. Meend is basically a glide from one note to another. Like this. Saga Ga Sa You see how we are slowly gliding? So this meend is the backbone of Hindustani classical music and the ragas. Without the meend, it will not even sound like Hindustani classical. Whereas in Carnatic music, we use a technique called the Kampitam. Kampitam is like an oscillation. For example, Sari You see how it is oscillating between Ga and Ri. So this kind of an oscillation is very common in Carnatic. Of course, this is not the only type of gamaka which is used in this style. In fact, we recognize more than 10 different types of gamakas. But this is one of the most characteristic ones which help us identify this style of music. The next big difference lies in the language of compositions. Since Carnatic music originated in the south of India, you will see that many compositions use South Indian languages, right? Whereas Hindustani classical compositions would use North Indian languages. Now this is very important for us to know because whichever style of music you are learning, you should be able to pronounce the words correctly. I believe that 50% of a song's beauty lies in its pronunciation. So even if you may not know the language, you should at least make an effort to understand the pronunciation, the accent and the articulation of each and every word. The third difference lies in the compositions. Carnatic music gives a lot of emphasis to compositions, especially the lyrics or the sahityam. So if you want to learn Carnatic music, you should be ready to develop a big repertoire of many, many compositions. And it is through these compositions that you will get deeper insight into the ragas. Whereas in Hindustani classical, it is the opposite. Here we give more importance to exploring the raga and the compositions are like a framework to achieve this. So if you want to learn Hindustani classical music, you should be ready not only to learn compositions, but also to start your creative journey at a very early stage. And finally, we talk about the theme of the compositions. Both Carnatic and Hindustani classical use a wide variety of emotions in all the songs that we learn. But the main difference is that in Carnatic music, all these emotions are expressed more in a devotional context. You will find a variety of emotions like love, romance, anger, betrayal, yearning and so on. But these will all be expressed in a divine context, not in a human to human context. So this is very important for you to know before you start learning Carnatic music, right? Even if you may be of a different faith or you may have a different belief, you should at least be comfortable enough to understand the gist of the compositions so that you can feel more connected to it and express the emotions appropriately. Whereas in Hindustani classical music, you will find a lot of compositions which talk about human emotions, human interactions with each other. So here we make that spiritual connection not through the lyrics but through the ragas. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn Indian classical music, either in the form of Carnatic or Hindustani, please drop us a message. Our contact details are in the description. 
So we will be happy to help you with some professional training in any of these styles. And also remember to download the Vox Guru app and sign up for one of our courses. We have plenty of options available for you in Indian classical music and voice culture. So please download the app and I'll be waiting to hear from you.